and some more shit. I blocked them off my YouTube channel. I blocked them off every fucking. Cause that motherfucker gonna steal your fucking fucking identity if you if you let them. I got him chance after chance after chance because we was on the contract. And then when he when he suspended my contract, I still gave him a chance after chance to be friends. But evidently he's still talking about me. I mean he still evidently he's still fucking with me. Even though the contract is uh Gone. So now I blocked his ass off of every fucking thing that I own. Cause that fat motherfucker, God, I should have blocked his ass last year. I mean, I should have blocked him. I should have blocked his ass. Like, I should have blocked his ass in June. Detective Cat Miller's artistic masterpiece is a confession. Girl, I need to get my fucking money back. All that money that he got from my fans. All that money that he got from all of my fans and shit. I need that shit back so I can give it back to y'all. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to give it back to y'all because... He did too. He doing too fucking much. Before the age of seventy-five, listen closely. You may be entitled to substantial compensation. Time is limited to file a claim, and we will have to pull your medical records. You must have been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Yeah, he stole five hundred dollars out of my out of my cash out. You need an attorney on your side fighting for your rights. And I still was his friend, all because the country we that I signed. I caught the fucking country that I signed. He stole five hundred dollars two days later. If you or a loved one used talcum powder for at least four years and were diagnosed with advanced stages of ovarian cancer or metastatic ovarian cancer that moved to other organs within the last ten years, don't. I really doubt he was a good ass friend. I really doubt that. I really doubt that. I really thought that he was a good friend. This is the deal you're looking for. Get the carefree dental card, and for just fifteen ninety five a month, you can see the dentist anytime and pay a whole lot less. We guarantee it. Or I thought he was a good ass friend. I paid six hundred fifty dollars. I should have done this a long time ago. We used to pay full price at the dentist. He ain't no but a desperate ass hoe. They work at a fucking radio station asking for money from the DJs and shit. Gonna uh, come up my house blowing your little soft ass horn. Talking about saying, why you put your money, put my number on live like that? Because I can't, bitch. You fuck with me. Leave me fuck alone. As long as you keep fucking with me, I'm going to do something to make your fucking life a living hell. Came out of my house with that little bitty ass horn. Beep, 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 beep. 
bitch. Man, if I was a rude ass bitch, I probably would went out there with my fucking with whatever the fuck that can break glass. I probably go out there with this and just bash this fucking bottle wash to his window and broke this shit. But no, I uh uh-uh. uh I ain't got time to be in jail. I I do not want to be in jail. I do not want to be in jail. So I just cuss his. I just cut. I just went out there and cussed his big ass out, and went back in the house. Like bitch, don't ever do this shit ever again. I see why people not. Uh, give me no more money, cause you making it seem like I'm begging and I'm not. I'm not begging for shit. Only time I ask for money is when it's hard. Like if I'm stranded somewhere, then I ask people, can they please send me some money so I can lift my way home? Or either, like, can y'all send me some money? I really do need, do need your laptop so I can get cover right to all my videos. Or... Can y'all please send me some money? I'm trying to give me some clothes. That's the only time I ask for money. I don't ask for no money just to, just uh, so people can say, hey, can y'all give Kenny Lee some money on his cash app today, his birthday? Bitch, I don't, I don't ask people to do that. This shit was fake as hell. Talking about some, I need twenty dollars to uh get away home. I just get put out on the way, on your fucking way. I know that's a fucking lie, cause I was in front of Motel Six last night. Oh, that's fabulous. I wasn't put out on no damn e-way. No, I'm sorry, it's mine. Lucy and Ethel would die for that bag. May I? Help that's crazy. Yeah, can it get clear off me? A lot of it. Lots of it. All the other pages of me on Instagram, that ain't me. That is not me. So y'all at y'all following the wrong page because this is the only page I go live on. This is my first page I made off of Instagram. I mean, I made off of Instagram last year. This is my first page I get. I don't know when I got on this Instagram. I think it was last year. Yeah. Yup. I'm trying not to cry because y'all gonna be like doing some fake crocodile tears. But y'all can call it how y'all want to call my tears. Because I know that I'm so sick of these people doing me wrong and shit. Like, that's crazy. I may well hang by my fucking self. I don't need no friends. I don't need no fucking battle. And that's that's the only reason why my trust issues so fucked up now. 
I can't keep no friends at all, period. Cause my trust issues so fucked up. Shit, I don't even trust my damn cat. That my mama get. I don't need trust that damn motherfucker. That's how bad my trust issues is. Go to startv.com and click stories to find out the chilling details. Want to know how to save time, money, and perfectly good food from going to waste? It's called Imperfect Foods. They're offering imperfect grocery items, still perfectly delicious, at discounts up to 30%. Use code GROCERY20 to receive 20% off your first order at imperfectfoods.com slash TV. At SafeWise, we're committed to taking care of you and your car. We'll fix it right with no contact service you can trust. So if you have auto glass damage, stay safe with SafeWise. From finishing touch, flawless, the gold standard in at-home facial hair removal. Girl, y'all know how y'all uh pick up a cat and then start rubbing it, and then the next thing you know, the cat clawing you in your damn face out of nowhere. Yeah, I I got trust issues with cats too, cause they sneaky. The cat just clawed the shit out of my face, like oh um, yeah, not yesterday. Yeah, that cat cat did claw the shit out of my face yesterday. That guy you should never trust a fucking cat either. That page called update updates on cat. That's not my page. That's fake. I ain't got access to updates on cat. I ain't got access to their page. I did report it. I reported that page. I reported that page as spam. Evidently, nobody else didn't report it as spam because I reported it as spam. Yeah, can you do talk to Tiffany? I don't know why, but I block Tiff. I mean, I block Kenny Lee off of everything that I get, even my YouTube channel. Y'all seen all them videos that Kenny Lee be been pulling up on me of me on YouTube? That's not the videos that I make. The videos I made is on my YouTube channel. I ain't made none of them fucking videos on YouTube of me. That's fake. Excuse me. It's not fake, but the videos are real, but I ain't put them videos up there. I got about a million videos up of me on Facebook. I'm mean, on YouTube. Is this one familiar to you? <sighs> I mean, I've been 
And I'm gonna get every fucking check for every video that he put up. I'm gonna get every fucking check. Every video that he put up of me on, on YouTube, I'm gonna get paid for that video. Yeah, I'm on TikTok. I'm on TikTok. My TikTok is <laughs> the picture on there. My nephew was over my TikTok at first, but I got my shit back from his phone. I logged myself out of TikTok on his phone and logged into my TikTok on my phone. I got my TikTok to camp it because he. <laughs> He stole my TikTok and started making videos. I was like, boy, get my fucking TikTok. That's not your TikTok, it's mine. And he let Teresa. I said, no, you can't do that. You cannot do that. <laughs> so, I took my TikTok from my nephew and get it back. So, you might see a view. A few videos of my nephew on my TikTok, but I got my account back. <laughs> it's over now. Then he made a he made a fucking photo, a fucking photo. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. That thing got a long ass nose on it, but he put a picture of a long ass nose on my TikTok. I don't like. I. I know this time my fucking photo. He just changed my TikTok around. He couldn't even change the name on it. <laughs> Whew. That's what I was like. Boy, get my fucking TikTok shit. So, yup. He got a couple of videos of him and his cousins on my TikTok. <laughs> but he he probably trying to get famous too, I guess. My TikTok name is at the bottom. If y'all want to follow me on TikTok, you're welcome to do it. You said what can hear? Girl, he just left at my driveway. I think called police on his ass. Cause he kept on blowing his fucking horn and shit. Like, like I ain't tell him to get out my fucking yard or nothing. Yeah. Okay, Godfrey, hurry up. I'm watching Ghost Whisper. Put it this way, it's half the reason I was born. Second time, Your mom had told my mother you were dead. Yes. That was helpful of you, considering it's not true. What does that mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I come in? Not that way. So, what makes you think it is not dead? No accident report? No body? No obituary? Not at all? No, I don't know. I can't add Kenny Lee on my life. You think he's dead? I blocked his ass. I blocked him. Sounds so I can't, uh, I can't, um, add him on my life. I blocked his ass. Okay, Godfrey, hurry up. 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 Okay, Godfrey,
If y'all want to talk to, I know, right? If y'all want to talk to Kenny, uh, his number is up on Instagram. Call him and talk to him y'all self. Cause I'm not finna add the fat motherfucker on my shit ever again. Or I ain't finna unblock his ass. I ain't finna unblock Kenny's nasty looking ass. Fuck his birthday. Shit. I will finna go to the damn party. I will finna go to the damn party today. But, mm mm. Nope. Hell fuck no. I ain't going to shit. Fuck him. I hope I hope that hotel room catch on fire. With them mean it. Well with him in it. Look, I know how you Just imagine that one of the things is true. That he's here and that he loves you and he feels really bad about not being in your life. If you could tell him one more thing, what would it be? Now Tiffany does she girl. I called Tiffany today. She went to Orlando. She going back home to Orlando. Where she came from. She going back home to Orlando, you people. That's all y'all need to know. She didn't go to t- to Kenny Lee party. I know. Hey, girl. <laughs> She live in Orlando. Duh. Duh. She was just down here to visit. She was just down here to visit, so she went back to Orlando. Because she got to go work in the morning. Hello. Ow. You said Tiffany is at Kennedy Lee Party. How the fuck she there? And she got to go work in the morning. Cause I um, called her and she was on her way to Orlando. That's what she told me. Procedural dramas are the medicine.